Hey everybody, how's it going? Man, I hope you're all doing great. Guys, today, uh, got some nice weather outside. Looks like it might try to rain. I'm gonna get the uh, hydrostatic 1250 Cub Cadet. Hopefully you've seen in a previous video where we got it going after setting for 20 years. I'm gonna bring that thing over. I'm gonna pressure wash it off and uh, change the oil in it. And I believe there is a tractor show that is coming up here very, very quickly. I think I'm gonna take it to it. Uh, a lot of vintage tractors, from the big tractors to the small garden tractor like I got, and also uh, many other different things. We'll be covering that event. We'll be going to it, obviously. If I take the, take the Cub Cadet, we'll be going to it. So there'll be a video on that. So let's get that uh, Cub Cadet over here and see if we can get some of the mold and, and grunge off of it that had been sitting on it for the last 20 years. Honey. Uh, guys, we're going to go ahead and change the oil. <clears throat> In the old uh, 1250 hydrostatic cub cadet here. I'm gonna get the oil changed. The oil's been in it. You know, we know for 20 years and 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 did it get serviced faithfully before that? It looked pretty dirty. We'll go ahead and change the oil and uh pressure wash this thing up. Guys, look at that. <laughs> look at that coal wire there. Whoo man, the rodents, they were going to town on that thing. Still works. Still works. So let's get the oil drop down and change in this thing and uh bring the pressure washer over here and see if we can get some of this uh mold fungus and all off of it and uh we're not looking for you know a show tractor but at least we can get some of the fungus and mold off of it right all right guys all right guys we got our drip pan here uh now this looks like it might be where the oil plugs at get a bit of stuff on here yeah. Well, guys, we got the oil plug located here, but um, from what I can tell, somebody's rounded this thing off pretty good. See how loose that is? Get right up on it. Yeah, somebody's rounded that off pretty good. So, all right, let's see if we can take a different course of action here uh see if we can get that plug loose looks like we'll be getting a plug in our future because uh somebody's chewed that thing up Gosh. pretty good <sighs> i tried the old trusty buy scripts on it that wouldn't work i'm gonna give this thing a little love tap I see a struggle here. Somebody has rounded this oil plug off pretty good. And then on top of that, <clears throat> oh man. And then they have really tightened the fire out of it. Oh, that's right. Always tighten something where nobody can get it back off, guys. First rule. Always tighten something where you're sure you can never get it back off. Holy cow. Oh man, I don't like the way this is looking. Well, definitely gonna have to get another oil plug. But I'm afraid the way this thing's coming out. Man, I hope it's not stripped. Man, there's just no reason for an oil plug to be that tight. Uh, this thing's hot. 
I had to throw a little heat on it. Man. It's heated up. Wow. How hot is it? Still hot? Oh, man. Whew. Wow. Brother, that thing was tight. That's some pretty dirty looking oil there, but whew, man, I, I should have some rubber gloves on, I guess. Uh, that looks like a thread right there. <laughs> oh, that'd be just my luck. Well, either way, I may can put this oil plug back temporarily, but ultimately, uh, yeah, we're gonna have to get another plug cause you can tell, boy, somebody really rounded it out. And I had to, I had to take my torch here. Didn't really want to, cause that's an aluminum pan, but I had to heat it up. And man, you can see where that chisel really had to dig in. So man, there's just no sense in the threads being, uh, 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 something being that tight. That's just ridiculous. So we got it out. We'll see if we can find a, I'll see if I can find another plug. I may have to go back with this one. Obviously, won't tighten it back. I'm gonna put an O-ring or something around here. That way I don't have to tighten it back as, as tight as it was. And if it'll seal up good enough for us to be able to take it to the old tractor show, that's uh that's what our goal is. But anyways, got it out. So guys, I, I couldn't find another plug or even a pipe plug. So what I've done is I put this uh, O-ring that you can see on there. I put that o-ring on there and i hopefully when i put it back in that o-ring i won't have to tighten it real tight and that'll seal it up and the next time i go to town i'll uh i'll get a plug all right guys got it back in there <clears throat> wipe it off i think that uh i think that o-ring will hold it until we can get another one all right guys we'll get a get us some uh Oh, put back in this thing. Uh, I just got some cheap uh, 30 weight oil from Walmart. Uh, I wanted to run just some cheap oil through it, you know, let it kind of get cleaned out and change the oil again because it's been setting up so long. Yeah, there we go. Just right. Nice clean oil. <clears throat> All right. Uh, eventually, I'll also be changing the uh, hydraulic oil and the hydrostatic transmission and the filter. I'm not going to do that today. I need to get all that stuff together. Um, I just decided at the last minute to take this uh, tractor to the tractor show, but it seems to be working well. Probably wouldn't hurt it to be worked a little bit and then change it, you know, loosen up all the stuff. So when I do change it, put a new oil and filter in there, you know, get some of that stuff broke up. So, all right, now that we got the oil level correct and it doesn't seem to be leaking, let's see if we can get it uh, pressure washed off a little bit. All right, now if we can see if the old pressure washer will fire up, it's been sitting a few minutes as well. Appreciate you bringing that pressure washer over there, Rodney. Thanks for all your help, man.
right, guys. Got it cleaned up. She comes somewhat clean. At least we got the uh, mold or moss mold, whatever that was growing on it. Cleaned up underneath the oil pan a little bit. Uh, somebody's obviously painted it. <clears throat> Knocked some of the paint off of it. I just said to heck with it when it started coming off. I'm like, it's coming off anyway. Go ahead and take the pressure wash and knock it off. So, anyways, uh, I'll get the side panels back on it. And uh, make sure she'll fire up. And I'm going to take her to the show tomorrow, weather permitting. All right, guys. Uh, hope you guys enjoyed this. It's just a little short video on getting this thing oil change, pressure wash, getting old 1250 hydrostatic. Uh, like I said, it took us a while. We had a lot of delays, but we finally got it. Runs good. Everything's working good so far. So good. So uh, I'm going to take it to the show tomorrow, and they have a little parade. I'll be videoing that, like I said, and sharing it with y'all. They have a little tractor parade, and and uh, hopefully she'll she'll make it through that. I'm sure she will, and uh, I'm just going to enjoy it. I'm just going to ride around and enjoy it. All right, guys, for all you that watch the channel and, and subscribe and like, we got more events, more stuff coming. Uh, shop video coming very soon and uh, just thank you for watching thank you for liking thank you for subscribing guys I appreciate y'all I really do you guys have a great day I can't wait to see you in the next video thank you guys